Hey everyone, uh, Ray the Dashing Womble here. Here we go, it's about uh, nearly six o'clock on a uh, Tuesday evening, and I'm uh, just getting ready to uh, get to work. A little bit later this evening. Um, hadn't, uh, wasn't sure if I was actually going to work tonight, but apparently my wife tells me I have to. <laughs> anyway, um, went out this morning and had uh, breakfast. Uh, took the wife to the hospital for uh, some, to get some uh, tests done, which took all the 20 minutes. Took longer to bloody park than it did to uh, for it to get in and out of there. And uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, then went to breakfast and ended up in a uh, place in Raytown, which, good grief, reminds me why I don't have been eating Raytown. <laughs> oh my gosh, I tell ya. I felt like my flipping tongue licked the, the arse of a flipping fish. There was so much bloody salt in that flipping uh, breakfast, that uh, meal I had. Oh, good grief. I couldn't eat it. Couldn't eat it. And I weren't too well after it, so... Sorry, Gingers, I'm not going back to there again. It's uh, been there before in the past. It's a family restaurant, I think. And uh, I can't be playing that game anymore. Oh, way too much salt in it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, um, so uh, hopefully everyone's going to have a great night tonight and uh, we all uh, make a few dollars and uh, hopefully it's not going to be a usual uh, Tuesday night where it's a little bit slow. There's a nice old Toyota over there. Look at this. Now, I know it's not the prettiest looking thing, but the darn thing is dipping. Can you see that? The red thing. That one. What's the work on those old things? Anyway, tough old 50 vehicles, then. Yeah? Anyway, uh, alright, so no doubt I'll uh, just finish up this later on. Anyway, like I said, hopefully everyone has a great night. And, um, yeah. Cheers. ta -da. Hey, everyone. The Raider Dashing Womble here. Hope everyone's had a uh, good Tuesday night. And uh, that you, uh, all the drivers, had uh, made some monies, etc. I actually uh, finished early. A lot earlier than one expected. Um first job I actually the first job I went to uh pizza up off of Blue Parkway as I opened up the door the van door somehow or other brought my hand back and bent it right the way back bent it back so uh sprained the wrist to Ted uh so now in a little bit of a Trying to keep it all uh, tightened up a bit. I didn't go to the doctors. I've had a bloody sprain wrist before. I wasn't going to piss about with that. So just went to... Uh, thought that one. Went to Dollar General and got some lots of pain pills. Can of coke to uh, wash it down, a bottle of coke to wash it down with, and that was it. And then just done a few jobs after that, but it was a uh, little bit of a strain, but still managed to do it, do a few. But um, I don't know if the bloody pain pills were supposed to be pain pills or sleeping pills, but crikey. Uh, mind you, I did take four of them. Anyway, uh, then dropped over at Walgreens eventually and uh, bought this darn thing. Anyway, yeah, so uh, keep vigilant of what you're doing because it's the last thing you want to do. It's amazing how much you uh, um, miss using your vipping and so much. Turn that off. 
But anyway, I decided to uh, give up. Oh, give up for the night. Um, I was going to carry on through it, but there wasn't a whole lot coming on in. Uh, got kicked off once because. Uh, oh boy. Oh, because the wife wanted to uh, get herself a pizza where well, she was trying to get me some too, but I didn't. I wasn't interested. But um, and uh, sat and waited and for that to uh, arrive or uh, get sorted out over at the Darn Minsky's place. I'm not a fan, so. I ain't eating there. Anyhow, uh, then the map went grey. Then it came red again. So, so uh, I jumped on that and um, done a job. Went back to the mint. Thought we might pick up another one because that one come from the mint. And uh, just really stupid orders came in and. I just decided I didn't want to know. Didn't want to know anymore. That's like I can say, these pain pills are just making me more sleepier than anything. Ouch. But anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about from last night. Oh, I think it was last night. Um, you got to look at the map on the uh, uh, DoorDash thing and the others too because they can certainly lead you astray and I'll put an example up here too um, there's been times that that I've, I've come out of a building out of a restaurant and you get onto Pryor actually it is Pryor a couple of, most of the time it is Pryor Road so anyway, so you go down Prior Road, and you're going straight. You know that, you know roughly where you're going, and um, it says the go. You know when you look on the map, you're just going straight down Prior or wherever it is in your area, and then I had to take a right off of it. And oh, excuse me. But for some stupid reason, you know that you got to go straight. But part of the way down down this road, it says take a right, then take a left, then take another left, and then come back on Prior Road again. Take a right on Prior Road again. What? Well, all you have to do is just go straight. So, always look at the map before you uh, before you leave, of where you go into the customer's house, um, and get to know your streets as well. Because if you know where you're going before you leave, then if it for some stupid reason it tells you to turn right or left or whatever way, then don't listen to it. Um, there's, uh, it's just going to use up more petrol and wind you up. And there's nothing in the way. <sighs> Excuse me, like I said, these bloody pills. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just always look at the map before you leave where you're for, for your destination. Because the last thing you want is to have a uh, sudden realised movement from um, deviation from where you're going, where you're actually going, just because the uh, match, the match, the map is having a glitch, or the app is having a glitch. I don't understand why it's, it's done it to me a couple of times going uh, going that way. I don't know if it was necessarily going to the same uh, destination or area, but. Oh, good grief, blimey. 
I think they labeled these wrong. Anyway, um, so yeah, always look at the map. Definitely look at the map where you're going and get that in your head before you uh, set off. And uh, and then just use the map well, when you get to the other end where you get to your, uh, I mean, your customers, near to your customer or delivery destination, whichever way you want to look at it. But yeah, it's, um, so really that's it. I haven't really got anything else to talk about. Um, I did a video earlier. Um, just to prove that, yes, I am out in the daylight hours. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't much daylight. All right, anyway, uh, like I said, hopefully uh, <sighs> everyone had a good night. And uh, hopefully customers got their food delivered as they wanted it. And um, for all the early morning dashes, hopefully, well, all the late night dashes too. Um, hopefully you have a great and uh, safe uh, um, delivery time and make loads of lots of money, or at least enough to pay the bills. And um, just to at least make sure that it was worthwhile going out. I'll be back out tomorrow. Um, may try to go out a bit earlier not too crazily early though um anyway uh thanks for uh, watching the video and uh, don't forget hit the thumbs up uh subscribe too please and um hit the uh, bell icon too so you get warned when the uh, videos come out all right thanks for watching cheers bye